What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back. Thank you guys for joining me. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that happened way back in April where a young man was actually murdered in commission of selling an Xbox One console. These kind of things happen all the time uh, and when these things happen usually the person committing the crime is swiftly dealt justice and in this situation the person who committed the crime uh, was unfortunately not adjusting well to being incarcerated and waiting for his trial to be over and so he tried to go with the mentally unfit I'm mentally not sound enough to stand trial I'm going to plead temporary insanity or some type of insanity and hopefully the judge gives me a break and thank God in a situation like this this doesn't happen if you're ever in desperate need of something don't go steal it. Don't go hurt anybody to appease an instant gratification need to have something stupid like a console. To me, nothing is really worth taking somebody's life. And usually if you do something like that, especially in commission of a crime like stealing something, I hope they throw the book at you. So that's just letting you know. If you do something stupid and you get caught, I hope you get what you deserve. I'll drop a link in the description. An Avondale man accused of killing a 16-year-old boy in April after trying to buy an Xbox One from the teen was declared mentally competent to stand trial by a Maricopa County Superior Court Commissioner on Tuesday. Aaron Ott, 19, reportedly attempted to buy an Xbox One from Miguel Navarro through the site OfferUp, according to police. Ott was charged with armed robbery and first-degree murder. He initially entered not guilty pleas to both charges. Ott was evaluated by two doctors and neither diagnosed him unable to stand trial, according to reports. Prosecutors argue that Ott's depression during his time in jail was not reason enough to declare him mentally incompetent and that he's simply having a hard time adjusting to life in custody. Morton decided that Ott was competent and understood the court process. He was next set to appear in court for a status conference on September 28th. So that's coming up. 19-year-old kid kills a 16-year-old kid for an Xbox One. You guys have seen this time and time again on this channel young people, old people, stupid people doing incredibly stupid things to other people to get their hands on a damn game console and look at him. He can't deal with being locked up. He can't deal with the situation of being in custody, but at least he can live through it. At least Mr. Ott here can survive. He can take another breath. He can call his mother. You might be locked up and you're going to be locked up for a long time, hopefully, because you killed a kid over a damn Xbox One. Somebody was trying to sell something, so you deserve to be there. I hope you don't get out until you're 50. I mean, to be honest, that might be too soon. I know some people say, Beasley, it's hardcore, man. But if you take someone's life, they don't get a second chance. They can't come back. They can't, you know, say their goodbyes to the family members they love. They can't. So to me, it's totally unfair. You kill somebody, you get what you get. And I hope they throw the book at this kid who obviously isn't built for prison but wants to be a thug in the street. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever had an instance or a situation where you tried to sell something on one of these social sites that allow you to sell things, i.e. Craigslist? Never heard of offer up until today. But these things are becoming more and more dangerous and people out there in the world are becoming more brazen with the foolishness and their want and desire to take things from people unjustly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Tell all your friends about the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.